Probably the biggest name that used me toilets was Bertie Ahern. I had talk about the Bertie Bowl. He left that bowl in the same mess as he left the country. Full of shit. Uh, but I do, I do take great pride in my work. One year in Dublin, I won a prize for the cleanest toilet in the 10 to 20 bedroom category. One of the judges, he says he could have had his dinner of the floor. Which was ironic really, because one of the customers came in a few minutes later and he left his dinner on the floor. It's true what they say about corn. Anyway, I better be doing a wee bit. Ah! Oh Jesus Christ! 20 years in the business, I've never seen that carry on before. Never seen the light of it. Different people with different stories Living life for some little glories On the main street or in the bookies By the college or in the factories Midnight in Letterkenny I drank too much Midnight in Letterkenny I'm losing touch I moved back home about 10 years ago after Daddy died because Mammy wasn't coping very well on her own and I thought it was only right but then she went and sold the house and moved into this wee granny flat and I've kind of ended up being on the sofa and it's, it's a wee bit tight. Money's, a, money's tight too because you don't get very well paid as a lavatorial attendant I can tell you and we don't get any help. No home help. No carer's allowance. I tried to fill in the forms one time, but they were very complicated and intimidating. Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea, Mammy? I fancy. Would you just take a wee cup yourselves? No, no, you carry on. Um, so, is there any romance in your life? Romance? Ah, oh, not really, no. Well, there was a girl way back there. Uh, her name was Bridie. But she had to move back to Africa. There's not much money in the lavatorial business as it says. She can't really be entertaining the ladies like can you? Then Mammy's here and as I says we don't get any help. But sure, looking after your Mammy has its own rewards. Hurry up with that fucking place, Fancy! It's a privilege really, you know. So low is my heart on high we can see. Hello, I'm Barney. Barney Barbier. I'm running the campaign for the Shannon Doy Party. Local elections, 2014. Yes, yes, uh, but really we want to ask you about Francis Nedley. Who the fuck's that? The toilet cleaner? Oh, him. Hi, Brian. Is this for Highland? No. Sam. The blue mop. That's for the standard cleaning. And then the wee red mop, if it's been rough the night before and there's a bit of blood about. 
I don't have to use the brown mop very often, thank God. And that old picture, is that of you? Oh no, that's Jesus. No, no, the other one. Oh, that's me brother, Father Brian. He's in England 20 years. He's Father Brian, he's a priest. Mammy and Daddy didn't have much money and they had to decide which one of us to send to college. So Father Brian went to be a priest and I went to Dublin to clean the toilets. He's very good to her. I just do the cleaning and the washing, the shopping, bath her. Father Brian's very good to her. He sends her, he sends £50 every Christmas. Mammy's delighted with that. And so are there any photos of you as a child? Oh, I'm in that one too. That's, you see, my arm at the side. The frame wasn't big enough, so Mammy had to fold it over to fit Father Brian in. She kept meaning to buy a new frame, but you know the way things are, she... Ramsey, toilet! Yes, Your Majesty! Don't get ticking. Coming now, Mammy. <sighs> big night in here tonight. Big talent night. All the big knobs will be hanging out in force tonight. Maliki Tyler. Hard man for the job. He's one of the judges. So come on, the fuck, man. Give us a place, tiny dog. I will surely, Barney. Good man yourself, uh, uh, Francie. That's it. Hey, Pio. Would you give us a glass of Declan Nerney for all the guys at the Barney's Bar? Ha <laughs> ha! There's, there's your request now, Barney. I'm glad to get home, I can tell you. Wild busy in there the night, bit rough too. That Malachy Tyler, he's one ignorant bastard. Not like his grandfather, he was a gentleman. God rest his soul. Yes. Anyway, maybe that's enough about politics. Leave all that stuff to Father Brian, he's the expert on that. I think I'll make a wee cup of tea. Will you have a wee cup? Mammy, we cup of tea. Mammy. Excuse me. Mammy. Mammy. So low is my heart. You know where I stand. Get a load of me. Get a load of me. And if giving you the key, give you my key. And give you my key. You have your grandfather swing, God rest him, Maliki. Your father, God rest him, wasn't much of a golfer. Your mother now, she could always find her way out of the sand, God rest her. 
He's from good political stock, that lad. He'll do great things for Letter Kenny. Build a better golf course for one. So are you back in Letter Kenny for long? Oh, just a week. Tie up a few loose ends. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it back for my mother's funeral. I had a reasons beyond my control. I had a wedding to attend in Dagenham. I have to admit, I feel a bit guilty that I was chosen for the priesthood and Francie wasn't. I have to say the priesthood's given me a good life. Francie hasn't had a good life. I mean, he had to live with my mother for one thing. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love my mother. But she was very hard with Francie. And him having to sleep on that sofa bed for 10 years. I mean, there is zero opportunities for sex in a situation like that. 10 years without sex. I don't know how he does it. And now he has to find somewhere else to live because the flat was in mum's name. I doubt he was even supposed to be living there. And he's got to find a deposit for a new flat. That's not going to be easy on his salary. I mean, how much can a toilet cleaner make? Six, seven hundred a week? The pittance. I have to confess, I haven't been the best brother in the world to Francie. I just hope I can make it up to him. Now watch me hit this drive. Get a load of me And I've given you the key Gave you my only key Have you given up On me On me So 